Hey, yo, it's your boy Benzino, man. Shout out to my guy OG product, the top crocodile. Let's go. Man, it's awesome. Boy, Welcome, man. man. TSA Bidders, I know how Texas, it is. Texas, you know what I'm saying? Texas to New York. Yeah, you show sure, man love to New York. Shout out to Product TV, man. Y'all know what it is. Oi, TSA Bidders. I, I, this Bobby Mother the Shmurda, shout out to Product DVD, man. They out here with the thugs late night. Now I'm fifty cracks and we didn't pull up and get cracked with it. You feel me? I, I, nigga, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy OG Product 100. We out here with Pistol Pete. K A R. We know Killer Rat in the building, Dog of the Yard. We out here, you already know, we in the trenches. Product DVD, you already know, it's your boy Pistol, man. Get at me, man. We in the trenches, K A R for life, Dog of the Yard. That's a fact, boom. All right, y'all be safe, bro. Oh God, bad man wicked every time, Woo. bad man bad all the while, oh God, Woo. through the window, through the lift it up to the wall, can't believe we made it true, how gladly boom you are. Oh, 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 through the window, through the leaf, it up to the wall. Can't believe we made it, you. How gladly, boom, you are. Oh, 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 oh. through the window. Boom, 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 boom. You know where it is, man. It's your boy OG Product. Bring another edition. That Garrison News. You know the Schlingo. Trap now. Cut it later. If a good morning, get smooth as we should. Oh, man. God damn. Things makes you go. Mm. Talk nice, mama. Anyway, man. We out here fooling for it. Oh, mine. Pretty sash. Mine. Blip. Bow. Boom, 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 boom. People trust. Up. No homo, no freaky. Up. No homo, no sneaky. You see it, man. Big jit, man. Big on me, man. The top crocodile, man. You heard me? The one and only, man. You heard me? But he sees it, man. You heard me? <laughs> so, people, man, before we start the live show, before we start the turn up, excuse me, beloved, make sure y'all smash the like button because y'all know it's me against them, man. You understand what I'm saying to you? It's me against everybody. You heard me? Because at the end of the day, everybody's hating on my drip, hating on my bop, hating on my motion. You understand? But they know the vibes, man. You know? So look, I did a vlog um yesterday, man, with Fabio Foreign. Because, you know, everybody heard the news, man, that Colombia cut off Fabio Foreign like an amputated leg, man. Chop off on way limbs and gave him his pink slip. But here's the thing, right? I'm not happy for Fabio Foreign, you know, losing his situation. And I don't want to see a man, you know, fumble his bag. Because at the end of the day, my issue with Fabio Foreign is not serious. It's just, you know, um, industry type flex. You heard me? So he just crossed certain dudes to get to the top. But what Fabio Foreign didn't know or have any understanding or any idea that, you know, what, what, what goes up, man, must comes down on Freaky. What goes up must come down on Homo. And Fabio Foreign is learning that now because, like I told y'all, the problem is with these young youths, right? Where they don't understand. You come in the game as a nobody, right? Big shit, man. You come in the game as a nobody. Somebody help you to get to the top, right? As soon as you get on, beloved, instead of keeping, you know, two connection, they chop off the old connection for the new. That's the biggest mistake anybody can make, right? As a young jit, as a young youth. See, it's like you saying your, your music is playing on BET. So now you got on MTV, you cut off BET because MTV is bigger, pause, bigger. No freaky, right? That don't make no sense. Why can't you keep the same connect, keep all your connects? So if there's a problem, you can always fall back to the next. These young youths, they claim they smart, but it's not adding up. You heard me? Do their actions. So like I said, follow your foreign. This is that, see, this is, this is news to y'all. This is not news to me. Columbia Records bin went um cut um from your foreign threw in the recycling bin, but it was contemplating for a while because after Pop Smoke met his demise, right? Pop Smoke, you know, um fate was sealed. R.I.P. You know, to Pop Smoke, man, rest up, boom in peace, boom easy, B.I.H. Boom in heaven, B.I.P. Boom in paradise, the fallen soldier. 
baby, baby. So after Pop Smoke got clipped, you know, um, Fabio Foreign, you know, hype started to dwindle. You heard? And Fabio Foreign, like I told you, and no disrespect to the young you, no disrespect to the young Jit, but Fabio Foreign's not a superstar. Fabio Foreign could perform, no freaky, when he's with a group. Like when he was with 800 Foreign Side, they tuned shoot, shot, sell off, sold out. You heard me, gangster? Come on, bumba clot. So his tune shoot, shot. But when they could, they try to stand alone, they not superstar to stand alone. So slowly but surely, they're gonna start going to the recycling bin, as they should, as they would, as they could. So that's um, new news to y'all. They've been wanting to cut Fabio Foreign long time. They want to give him the axe. You heard me? Yeah. So um, look, like I said, I'm not um hating on the homie, and I'm not really happy the fact that you know it's messing up his bag. But here it is. Fabio Foreign and everybody else that crossed me, right? From the rock, I'm not even gonna put Bobby in this because I still rock with Bobby. Bobby don't have nothing to do with this. From the Rowdy Rebel to the Bambino to the goddamn PMPJ to the um Haladin, you know, free Aladdin and the chain gang. Boys in Pelican Bay right now, bro. You heard me? It's trust me, it's up in there, you heard me? So the Haladin. And I could go on and on, man. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? I go on and on, right? See, all these young youths, they came from poverty. They came from broken homes. I never came from a broken home. So I know how to respect people, and I know what loyalty means, right? And that's why you see me still trying to help people up to today, even though I've been crossed. I've been crossed so many times. You heard me? I've been crossed so many times, and um, I'm still do I'm still doing what I do, right? But as far as um, Fabio, as far as you know, um, all those other guys, they have to learn. It's just like when you see a young you spinning, what, winning, blocks, winning. When you see these young youths out here spinning, sometimes as an elder, you could talk to the young youths, you could talk to the young jits, and then sometimes they're not gonna listen. It goes from one ear to the next ear, right? So they have to learn on their own, which means they got to go to the institution. They got to go work for Uncle Sam. They got to go work for um, Joe Biden. They got to go work for Willie Lynch, head Hoover, and the alleged forefathers of the United States of America, the alleged forefathers of the United States, right? They got to go pick cotton in the new generation. And then it's when they reach a certain age, you're like, man, I can't be going through this no more. But two, it's too late because you done gave up all your life. Now you don't have no education. You know what I mean? Your only education is in the street. Right? So what a regular jit do? He goes back to the life of crime. What he knows best. So therefore, his whole existence on this earth just been a save to the Vanilla Face homie because he's going in and out the institution and the jobs that Uncle Sam is giving y'all that's paying y'all 12 cents a day. 12 cents. Right? They could be paying people out here in the street 15 to 20 dollars an hour so that's when they say a lot of y'all young youths don't understand when they say hold on for a second a lot of y'all young youths don't understand when they say sleep work right they work that don't mean they tying you up and whipping you no it's a new modern time now where they doing it in a in a way where they could fool some of y'all chocolate faced people which means send you to the institution you do hard work that they could be paying free people a nice salary to survive, but they'll pay you, you know, um, peanuts, man. You know, 12 cents a day for what? For you to go and work for Uncle Sam. So some people will learn early. Some people will not learn. They will die being a waste you. How oh, I look? How oh, I look, man? Big kid, man. You Big homie, man. Look at, look at the rosters. Look at the rosters. Look. Look at the rosters. See the rosters? Look, no Remy John. You heard me? No Remy John. See the rosters? Look at this, John. See the rosters? See it? See the Yeah, man. So, oh yeah, we getting ready to go to the gym too, man. You heard me? We getting ready to go to the gym too. See how we looking fresh going to the gym. You heard me on my soul. So anyway, right? So a lot of people is not going to learn. I learned at an early age. 
going in, no freaky, going out, no homo, the institution. I refuse to work for Uncle Sam. You heard me? I refuse to work for 12 cents a day when I could be out here getting gus, getting chicken, getting that straight cash, the legal way. You heard? That's why they don't like me because everybody be around. I be trying to show them how to hustle the legit way. They don't like that. So like I said, with Fabio Foreign, it wasn't no surprise to me because like I told you, Fabio Foreign, you heard me gangster? He couldn't perform. Fabio Foreign, he couldn't put in no twerk. You heard? Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up? Fabio Foreign couldn't put in no twerk. So eventually what you think a, a um, record label is gonna be like, oh yeah, chill, don't cut him. What do you mean don't cut him, man? I told you don't cut him. For what, man? He's like family now. Nah, man. He's out of here. There's no love. It's a business. Back in the days when hip hop first started, and you had the cash money, you had the um the rap a lot with Jay Prince, it was more like family. Now it's a business since the um vanilla face homie took it over. You heard me? If you can't make us Gus, the next chocolate face homie will make us Gus. You heard me? Oh, you don't want to wear a pocketbook? I told you, man, I wear no pocketbook, man. I'm a gangster, man. <laughs> Listen, hold on, man. Like I said, all, all no shit, man. I told you, man, I wear no perks, man. Don't skirt, man. Nay, that, man. Take out the contract, man. You heard me? If you don't listen, they're not going to push you. That's why you see a lot of these street, authentic thugs, authentic Bartman, authentic top shots up. They weak out. You heard me? Because that's why you see them in the forefront of this music. Carrying a female purse. You know, dressed up. In female attire. Female garments. More makeup than Maybelline. More makeup than CoverGirl. May, excuse me, beloved. More makeup than Maybelline. More makeup than CoverGirl. More makeup than L'Oreal. More makeup than makeup by Mario. You understand? That's why I see a lot of these so-called big homies coming home from the institution and they weak out. Why? For Gus, straight cash and internet fame. And that's why you see a lot of them. They come on my channel, they watch my video, but they hate. They don't hit the like button, but they pre because you see the numbers. And this is my new channel. I'm not beefing with no, no um, YouTuber. Boss Mandilo, shout out to Boss Mandilo. See that far you're foreign? Boss Mandilo's from Miami. He's getting spin in the constituency. I don't hear no Fabio foreign tunes. So back to what I was saying, right? Um, damn, I'm a little schlit too. Yeah. Damn, where was I, man? Damn. Um, oh yeah. So like I'm saying, right? I hate when I get thrown off. So let's just, let's just get back to here now. I'm a little off, but it'll come back to me. It's all coming back, all coming back to me now. What? There was nights I was spit. Hold on, hold on, talk your talk your shit. There was nights I was in the field without my ball. Word out up. And I seen the opposition slipping in traffic. Doing road. Gang, 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 gang. I looked at him, he looked at me like, what's the boom facts? When I started the boom booming, he didn't boom back. What? Little broski just came home from being a schmurder rap. What? Fresh out the institution, he ain't going back. What's up, elder? Can I boom you like this? What? Can I boom you like that? What? There was nights we were spinning, spinning the opposite, spinning the opposition, spinning they block. What? We didn't stop spinning until a body drop. You heard me? <laughs> I got to go record that too and again, man. I swear to God. A lot of people think I do music. I don't do music because I'm trying to get a deal. I do music because I love it. I could be waking up in the morning, tune in the shower. I could be doing this, tune. You heard me? Yeah, man. So we just love it. It's from the heart. You heard me? It's been us, man. No freaky. No homo. So pregame, right? So Fabio, 
they thought like, you know, okay, I know where I was at now. So Fabio now, they thinking that this is like, you know, friendship. Yeah, man. I don't know, I forgot the homie at um Columbia, but just say his name is Tom. Yeah, yo. Yo, Fabio, man, we heard you sign this deal, you heard me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Light thing, light thing, you heard? Yeah, 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 yeah. You looking good, man. Heavy at Columbia. Yes, a Fendi fact, you heard me on Crip. So, um, Fabio, um, so how's your relationship with um the homies at um Columbia? Like I said, you heard me. Columbia is your team. Columbia is the family. Anybody go against my situation, they're staying, they're walking late. And that's the only thing I'm going to chat you are or Crip. That's how they do it. They'll sell out their own homies, right? They'll sell out their own homies. They'll sell out their own bros. I don't mind. They'll sell out their own homie. They'll sell out their own bros. Instead of keeping relationship, instead of keeping contacts. And that's why you see these char I mean these vanilla face homies, they always stay on top. No freaky always stay on top. No homo. Why? Because they just don't get one link and throw away their old link for a new link. No, they keep all links. And that's why they can always go back in their book and reach out to certain people. You feel what I'm saying? You and get back on your feet, get back situated, get back glitchuated. Hey, 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 hey. You heard me? Get back glitchuated. You see me? I say, yeah, man, I'm a clock. So, yeah, so it's not a surprise um, with Fabio Foreign, man. I've been new. There's going to do homeboy in the recycling bin because Fabio Foreign, like I said, he can't perform. No freaky. You heard me? Dolly gang. Because a superstar could perform Dolly. When Lil Wayne, when Cash Money just got that $30 million deal and every artist start leaving Cash Money, Birdman, y'all didn't know what Birdman was going through. Beer stress, sleepless night because he don't got nothing to give back to Columbia and they just cut him a check. Lil Wayne, a superstar. Homeboy carried that record label on his back. Dolly kept cash money alive from being sued. Because look, if Universal give you 30 million, right? And you can't, you don't have no product, they can sue you. You heard? Because it was written in the contract. You have Juvenile, you got BG, you got Lil Wayne, and you got um, Turk. Now you don't got nobody. So Lil Wayne carried that label on his back. That's a superstar. Not only carry a label on his back, he also put out Nicki Minaj. Even though Nicki Minaj was doing her thing, but he took her to a bigger level. Pause. No freaky. Same thing with Drake. And they became superstars. Five year foreign whole team. You know? Five year foreign whole team. How you doing? Five year foreign whole team. They couldn't even get on. You heard? None. Damn, show you back. Through the window, through the living up to the... My voice hoarse though, you know, but we love music, man. Shorty nice too, she like um, Arabian. You heard me? Muslim. You heard me? So anyway, so it was the surprise that, you know, they gave Fabio Foreign his pink slip. That was long time on the countdown, well overdue. So, Rowdy Rebel. I want you to know it's nothing personal. I don't have no issue with you, beloved. You heard me, like I said, my issue with you, even though you probably be like, yeah, man, I see that wet t-shirt got this man, George, I'm sitting here, come back. You heard me? Rowdy Rebel, my issue with you is not that personal. I just want to show you the meaning of loyalty. You heard? I want to show you the meaning of a switch sider. You heard? Because what you done, you didn't have to do that, beloved. Oh. Only thing you have to do is just go your way. But instead, you try to mess up my bag. You try to knock my hustle. You heard? So when you see me coming on here and exposing you, I'm not doing it, beloved, because I hate you. I'm not doing it because I'm trying to snake you. You heard me? Nah. Not at all. I just want to show you and remind you. Because at the end of the day, Rowdy Rebel, see the Rossis? How you say Rowdy Rebel? Y'all. Yeah. You heard me? Complete me pool. Y'all. Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that's iconic though. 
He is up in squad. Same place that Tupac got a wet t-shirt contest. Same place Tupac was filled up with copper and lead. Same place. He lit Tupac up like a book of matches, man. Lit him up like an arsonist, man. Lit him up like a forest fire. Lit him up like a chimney. Lit him up like a book of matches. Lit him up like a stove. Lit him up like a candle. You had that R.I.P. to Tupac. That's my brother. Don't get it twisted because you hear me. That's my brother, right? So the same place where you got arrested, Quad Studio. So you is iconic when it comes down, you know, to Tupac. You right next to him. Because when you got locked up, before you death, come play me in pool. Fuck up. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so anyway, Rowdy, I just want to show you and give you a reminder. You didn't have to do... I ain't gonna lie. There's some Johns out here tonight, boy. There's <laughs> some chatting about you know what I'm talking about my soul, boy. Where to my rosters, you heard? So anyway, Rowdy, you didn't have to do what you, had, you did, beloved. Damn, you hear the pipes? Of course. You hear the pipes on that joint? <laughs> so, Rowdy, you didn't have to do, do what you did. But you know, just got signed. Not once you ever did an interview, right? Not once you ever did an interview. Yo, shout out to the elder product, because I ain't gonna lie. You know, product played a role, product played a part. You ain't never once did that. You bigging up everybody else, you know, the crack stone. You heard? Come on, that's a new Matter of fact, we're gonna talk about him too. Let's save him for that for a little bit. But that's a new name, man. Crack Stone, man. You know, so you giving everybody their flowers, giving everybody their roses, they daisies, they tulips, they acculates. You understand? I never said nothing. Almost like a decade, I kept quiet. Because you're cool with my daughter, right? My daughter's cool with you. You heard? That's out of respect, right? So now, you came home. I'm off that um, um, Rona. Messed up, man. You heard? On my deathbed. You heard me, beloved? What you did and all your homies, and said, like, damn, man, you know, product may have its ways. Let me give product, I know. Product may have its ways. Let me give product a shout out. You know what y'all did? Y'all went on social network and laughed at me. Like a real goofy. Laughed at me. Like a circus clown. Laughed at me. Like a boxy boy. Laughed at me. Like a boxy man. You know what I'm saying, you? So that's my issue with you. I don't want to see you fail. You heard me? I don't want to see you fail. Same thing with Fabio Foreign. I don't want to see Fabio Foreign mess up his bag. But it's not my um, choice. It's not my decision. I can't stop karma from doing what she going to do. Name one person that ever stopped karma. You heard? But you messed up when you try to stop my bag and not my hustle. So I had to stand ten toes down and flex like muscle, you heard? And that's why I had to um, air you out. I'm not trying to destroy your bag, but know this. I got my homeboys from England, the UK. You know, the Jets, the Mites. They hit me up like your elder OG. You know we boom with you, you heard? The crocodile way. I'm like, what's good, Mike? That product, you know they book Rowdy for a turn up, right? Book Rowdy for a light show, because I heard your last vlog. You said Roddy only get like one or two bookings, but chill. You know what I'm chatting about? Yeah, man. And um, they book Rowdy to go do a turn up in um, UK. I forgot how much pounds they gave Rowdy, but the pounds is equivalent to maybe 900 USD to a, th a thousand USD, which is like a thousand US. And I told you that's um, Rowdy price. So they book Rowdy to go to um, the UK to perform. Rowdy got to the establishment. The Vanilla Face people didn't even recognize Rowdy Rebel. They didn't even let Rowdy Rebel in their establishment. On oh my soul. On oh my gangster. They didn't let Rowdy Rebel in their own establishment. So Rowdy flew all the way overseas. Abroad. You heard? And couldn't even get in the establishment to perform because they didn't recognize Rowdy Rebel. So we're not gonna to stay too long on you, Rowdy, because like I said, your problems is not my problems, right? Your ops is not my ops. My opposition is not your opposition, right? Two, I don't wanna boom you. 
For what? I watched you grow up as a young you. I know your old head, your old G. Jaime, you hurt? But, you know, y'all, y'all, you're not young no more. You are um, a young elder. I wouldn't even call you a youngin'. You a young elder that's about to become an elder. You're not an OG yet, much less a double OG to be a triple OG such as myself. Yes, I'm chatting about, you know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, I got to continue with you just for a little bit more because I want to talk about something too, right? I was just about to get off you, no freaky. Get off you, no homo. So, let's just get to this because this is more important. But I just want to say this, Rowdy. Um, I don't want to boom you. Maybe you and your homies. Yeah, man. You know, see that? Wet t-shirt contest. George Jefferson haircut. I'm going to scalp him like an Indian. Scalp him. You heard me? Like a wild Apache um, Cherokee Indian, man. I don't have that feeling towards you because at the end of the day, I try to help y'all. Chase a check, get a bag, cash out. But you chose the white man over your own chocolate face homies, man, that helped you to get next to the white man. You think a regular youth like you could be from the hood, the constituency, the back blocks, the side blocks, the jets, the housing scheme, and think you could have got so close to the white man without the help of somebody that been in the industry? Think about it. Soon as you link up with a white man, you switch. Oh yeah, that's what I want to say too. Yeah, shout out to um Crack Stone. Ah ah ah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to um Shaw Money XL. You heard? That's my G. Never met Shaw Money XL before, right? That's just how all y'all is. It's like a same cycle. Yeah, shout out to Shaw. Where's Shaw Money XL now? They threw him in the recycling bin. You heard? Threw homeboy in the recycling bin. But C boy, Shaw Money XL. You heard? All these guys that were trying to take credit like they had something to do with it. Yeah, shout out to Big Obi. Up, oh, shout out by the XL. Ah, ah, ah. You heard me? Ah, ah, ah. And I'm sitting there just laughing. You heard me? Hold on. Through the window. Right? So I'm just sitting there laughing at the light show. So, yeah, I want to talk about this too. A lot of people keep asking me, like, yo, bro, um, you know, Rowdy was doing. K2, right? And y'all know K2 is similar to that wet wet. You heard me? That dog food. Sherm. Wooly. You understand what I'm saying, you? Yama. The K2, like I said, it's equivalent to that wet wet. That dog food. That puppy chow. That dirty Diana. That Christina um, Aguilera. That Jaheim, that Bobby Brown is the same thing. So people like your elder was um Rowdy Rebel doing Kiss A2 out in the street? Or he just started when he went behind those um, prison walls. But how y'all call it? The dog pound. Shout out to Bobby Schmurdy, right? I don't got an issue with Bobby Schmurdy. So um I'm gonna tell you yes. Because look. Rowdy Rebel didn't start it, the, the two behind the prison walls. No, he been was doing it. And I'm going to tell you why. Remember, these are kids from the constituency that was really struggling. Day by day, they getting by, right? They didn't have no guts to go by like how we buying zips and, you feel what I'm saying, on a daily basis. No. So, um, you know, they'll do anything to get a fix. You heard me? Just like on Bolo. The old school elder, the old school sucker MC, the DJ, right? The way school. Hold on. So just like Bolo, right? The way you. He got diabetes, right? Shout out to everybody that's suffering from diabetes. But this guy's like a pig. You know how they say you can feed a pig anything? Bolo is like almost 50, right? I didn't even reach 50 yet. People boost my age like, oh yeah, he's 50, he's 50. No, I'm not 50. Me and my baby mother, my baby mother got me by six, seven years on my soul, right? Anybody know that? They could say that. She made me when I was a youngin', right? So um, Bolo now is a senior citizen. 
You know what I mean? A old hag, a old head. And he got diabetes. He smoked Newports, Marlboros, Camels, you know, um, off-brand um, cigarettes. He drank um, Hennessy. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, that's a favorite. He drank Hennessy. He'll drink Cold 45. He'll drink um, English 800. He'll drink St. Eyes. He'll drink Crazy Horse. He'll drink Irish Rolls, right? That's what the um, real alky they drink. Irish Rolls. That's like, that's like real rubbing alcohol you rub on your skin. And he don't care, so yes. Rowdy's from that environment where they didn't really have Gus every day to go crush and roll that BP-93. Straight gas from BP, no. So anything to get a fix, they will do it. Because remind you, when Bobby and Rowdy went to the institution to go pay their debt to society and do hard labor, they had Gus, they had chicken, they had breach, they had shmoney, shmoola, racke, big faces, hella bands. You understand? So when you go to institution, you don't have to smoke the two. Straight on BP. You heard me? So therefore, he had the addiction from in the street. So he brought and took that addiction behind the prison walls. So when he, people are like, oh yeah, he just didn't know. He was doing it from out in the field. So like I said, we ain't gonna chat too much on Rowdy. Let's finish up with this Crackstone dude, right? Taxstone, AKA Crackstone. So um, Crackstone, right? Crackstone is a regular jit that wanted to be street. Wanted to be a tug. Wanted to be a crocodile, right? And shout out to Krill Gates. We trying to get Krill Gates on Rapmatic, right? So he could tell his story. Because Krill Gates is a crip, right? From Flatbush, Vanderveer. Which um, Tax Stone lied on him and used his name for a come up, right? Shout out to Krill Gates. We're gonna try to get you on Rapmatic, right? And oh yeah, for Rapmatic, we got a huge interview coming. Trust me, I don't wanna, I, I, I wanna tell y'all yet, but we got a huge interview coming. Shout out to homie um, Q Butter, and shout out to homie Bullet Scotty, right? But well, they got some crazy shit coming. So I told you, Rapmatic, they got the city. It's over for Mad Papa, it's over um, for Doggy Diamonds, no disrespect to Doggy Diamonds. It's over, who else, who else? It's over for all these ways, you know, oh, St. Laz, it's a rap for you too. No disrespect to you, homie. I seen you at the Puerto Rican Day Parade. You walk right past me like you didn't see me. Oh my gangster. Because you know I was there crushing and rolling. If you don't believe me, ask my homegirl from Ralph Avenue who goes by the name of Tricia. Because she was right there. I was trying to help them, you know, to to because they had a huge um no freaky. They had a huge container. I'm talking about not a regular a big container. They were selling um their alcohol at the Puerto Rican Day Parade. But I was over there crushing and rolling and they asked me for assistance because the Dunkin' Donut cop was on the ass, no freaky. So she could tell you that, I was there. So I seen St. Laz at the Puerto Rican Day Parade. The homie walked right past me, he was with a shorty. Big, tall, doofy nigga. With some little midget shorty, maybe like um, 3'2", or maybe 3'4", to be exact, right? So he seen me, I don't got no issue with the homie. But he didn't want no smoke, he didn't want no cancer. Because he looked me in my eyes and took off like an airplane. He took off like a city bike. He took off like an old school limousine took off like a rocket launcher and I wouldn't violate him with his girlfriend unless he would try to disrespect you feel me so anyway um yes it's just say what I was saying tax stone oh yeah, yeah. so I think last you know it's over for all those waste dudes man because they all failed rappers that try to capitalize try to capitalize on the blogging world try to ride our wood we was the vloggers y'all was the rappers y'all failed in rapping now y'all trying to come wood ride what we was doing been doing for years yes i'm trying i'm out so it's over for saint Laz, over for um doggy diamonds over for gully tv definitely over for gully tv because look when you look at my numbers what's up papa? oh no papa no i don't smoke see trying to give me no no last year's last year's last year's you hear me you see that stranger i don't even know him and he's offering me something. Appreciate it, Papa. You see that? And my own chocolate face people will offer me. They come on here, watch my stuff, and hate. He's the best. 
He's the best. That's right, Papa. He's the best in the world. Thank He's you. He's the best in the world. I appreciate it, Papa. See that? Even Papi Chulo is looking out for a brother. And people that I helped throughout the chills, they come on here hating on my drip, hating on my bop, hating on my motion. You heard me? Come on. Anyway, so what I was saying now, um, yeah, Ratmatic, man, they got some shit that's about to F up the city. Shout out to homie for the Scotty Q butter. So, crack stone now. You use Krill Gates because see Krill Gates them they did a story with um with Bullet Scotty number four but at that time their platform wasn't huge no freaky large no homo so now he could tell a story that's gonna shoot shot to the world so shot to Krill Gates so um you lied on Krill Gates name try to ride Krill Gates wood no freaky ride his rod no homo and you know try to lie on homeboy and cause him a snitch. The homie came home with his paperwork. He came home with everything. So that showed you, you was always a goofy. Another goofy. Instead, you just be a vlogger and stay in a vlogger place. You want to involve yourself in the hip hop world and try to prove like you was a stepper when you was not. You heard? And look what happened to you. You became a crashed out dummy. A jit who had, you know, a contract or a deal, endorsement deal with um, Duce. You heard me? With Duce. Now you went from drinking Duce to now drinking Uncle Sam tap water. Bomba clot. You heard me, Taxstone? But I know Scone to a bite. He's a fucking Johnny Rod bite. But I know fucking Scone to a dread. So you crashed out like a true goofy. And instead you learn that sexy. How you doing, man? How you doing? Hold on. Have another day. That man gonna lie. She thick, boy. Mm. No, no. <laughs> you know what the problem is, though? A lot of these females are schmooks. A lot of these females is fun girls. A lot of these female, females is undercover sisters. You heard me? A lot of these females is undercover bots, y'all. 